Here we have for sale our 2013 on a 13 plate Toyota Hilux Invincible. This is got the 3 litre D4D engine in it with 171 brake horsepower and the automatic gearbox as well. And what we're going to do in this video is have a little walk around. I'll show you the spec that you get on a Hilux Invincible of this age. Um, and I'll also talk you through a little bit about the uh, condition and history of this particular vehicle as it is uh, currently available for sale at the time of recording. So starting at the rear of the vehicle, we can see that we've got the rear tailgate there and having a good look in terms of condition. Of course, this is a eight-year-old vehicle now, so you are going to get uh, a few marks and things here, but I'm sure as you we walk around this, this uh, vehicle, I'm sure you'll uh, hopefully agree that it is in lovely order. But nevertheless, I like to be as transparent as I can. There are a couple of small little marks just here. I say maybe that's being a little bit critical. But I, as I say, I like to point out what I can. Also, you've got the reversing camera here, which is nicely integrated there into the rear tailgate and a couple of small little hairline marks there just underneath. Otherwise, all looking to be very, very good indeed. We can open up the rear tailgate then and have a look in the back. You can see here that it has got a load liner. This is a, a load liner is this plastic cover here. This protects the vehicle. And we've also got this armadillo uh, roller cover. If you give that a good push, you can open that right out like so. And as you can see there, all in good condition here. The load liner, as I say, does a really good job of protecting everything in the back. You've got some tie down points here as well on either side to tie down any cargo that you may have. But these roller shutters, I say, especially a good make like that, like an armadillo, they are very, very handy. Any load that you have in there, of course, it secures it. Once you've got that pulled back nice and secure as well, you can lock that, which is uh, very handy indeed. We've also got a uh, rear ball and pin tow bar. And you can see there that's got the seven pin electrics just there. Looking then down the passenger side of the vehicle. And again, I'm just trying to look for any sort of marks or anything like that. There is a little chip just here at the rear. But again, that is being quite critical, I think. Nice 17 inch alloy wheels on the Invincible. And this particular model has got some very nice Pirelli all-terrain tires on it as well so clearly well maintained and we'll talk you through that in a second when we go into the passenger door there and have a look at their service history still again looking down the side of the vehicle all looks to be in very very good order having a look at the reflections there looking for any dents and things it's all in really nice order um, if I'm being very very critical again there's two tiny little pin dents just there I don't know if you would even be able to see that but I say just trying to see what I can sidebars and you also get chrome mirror caps as well along with a nice color coded front bumper and you also get front fog lights as well on the invincible you also get this nice chrome grille surround with the lighter gray inserts there in the middle of the grill i always like that nice scoop there in the middle of the bonnet as well but if we jump in to the passenger side here we can have a first look inside the cab and i'll talk you through the, the condition in here but also have a look at the service book so we've got a really really nice service history with this particular vehicle as you can see here there are eight services which have been carried out this is a two owner from new vehicle so the first owner has had it done with this toyota dealer in telford this is the dealer feeder commercials uh, we're aware of them uh, who uh, he then um, maybe part exchanged it um, and then the second owner bought it from them they've serviced it when uh, he, they bought it from them and he has had it uh, really nicely serviced then um, fairly local to us down here in Wales and he's had five services there all in Toyota dealerships in Wales so really really nice to see a, a nicely maintained vehicle like this and as I say that's probably why you've got such good tyres on the vehicle um, last done in May 2020 at 75,804 miles so really nice to find that in the service book looking then inside the vehicle here the door card is all in very good order there same goes with the dashboards all looking very very nice up here on top of the dashboard 
a couple of little tiny marks there on the glove box the floor here of course we've got a rubber mat in here but it's all nicely carpeted under there and that's all looking very good the seats seem to be in very good condition no rips tears cigarette burns anything like that they all seem to be in very good condition here you get a nice center armrest we'll talk you through the spec uh, on there in a second we go around to the driver's side and looking in the back same sorts of story in here all looks to be in good order back of the seats are all nice which is always nice to find and again the condition of these seats here in the back very very comfortable these cloth seats and I say carpets all looking nice it's, it's been really really well maintained by the looks of it this particular vehicle as I say considering uh, the age of it let's say got a nice little cup holder there considering the age of it it presents very very nicely indeed again carrying on around the front as I mentioned earlier you get the color coded front bumper the front fog lights which I think really set it off having a look here at the condition at the front oh it looks lovely to be honest with you um, having a look here at the front bumper there's no excessive stone chips or anything like that no scuffs or anything at all I can see on the front bumper it's all looking very very nice and then looking down the driver's side and one thing I can just see there a tiny little pin dent just there and one another tiny little pin dent there underneath the driver's door handle otherwise that is looking very very nice indeed if we open up the driver's door we'll have a look at the condition in here and also talk through some of the spec we get inside here so looking at the driver's door card you get electric windows you actually get electric uh, folding mirrors you can see they're folding in there push on the little button and they fold out that's all operated there this controls the brightness of the the, the dials up there in front of you um, you can see that we've got two full remote keys with the vehicle and then these keys are then to lock that rear armadillo cover nice multi-functioning steering wheel so on the left hand side you can control the radio on here you can also answer and hang up the phone so you've also got uh, bluetooth phone prep if you look through the steering wheel there there's another little stalk behind there and that is for your cruise control if we turn the steering wheel over to the left hand side you can see there we've got auto activated lights on there and then looking at the speedometer there you can see the mileage 82,746 miles it's all idling correctly there's no warning lights or anything like that on the dashboard if we look in the middle you can see then we've got this very nice screen up here again this is where you can connect your phone via bluetooth and if i put the vehicle into reverse you'll see then that that's where the reversing camera pops up so it's all very very nice to see that we've got air conditioning here heated wing mirrors and heated rear screen also you can see that of course this is vehicle is four-wheel drive so you've got different options here whether it is uh, two high range four high range or four low range if you really want to get uh, into some serious off-roading down here we've got some 12 volt sockets we've got one there we've got a cigarette lighter on the other side as well and you've got a usb and aux port just there center armrest nice and deep storage under there and it looks like we've got some power here as well if you wanted to put a uh, dash cam in nice little sunglasses case up on top but I say all in all in very very good order certainly as I say for a vehicle of this age the mileage it is in fantastic order Hiluxes as I'm sure you already know are notoriously um, rugged notoriously reliable these things just seem to go on forever and ever and especially when you see one which has been maintained in the way that this has with the level of servicing all those Toyota services really really nice to find and another massive bonus with this particular vehicle is of course that it is no VAT you've probably seen that on the adverse already but with no VAT to pay this is a quite a rare opportunity and I'm sure this lovely Hilux and this fantastic metallic grey with a lovely history is not going to be with us long thank you very much for watching